Many species exist on Earth. Can we generate new species by engineering genetic reproductive barriers? Speciation requires that two incipient species be unable to produce viable offspring together, or that they avoid mating with the members of the other group. To engineer species, we utilize CRISPR gene editing and CRISPR-based transactivation. CRISPR gene editing requires two components, a single guide RNA that binds to the target sequence and a Cas9 endonuclease that binds to the single guide RNA and make a double-stranded DNA break. CRISPR-based transactivation also requires two components, a single guide RNA and DCAS9, aka nuclease deficient Cas9, which has cleavage domains of Cas9 inactivated. Different from Cas9, it can alter gene expression once it binds to the DNA. Therefore, it is often used as a transcriptional regulator. Here, we fuse the DCAS9 protein to a transactivation domain called VPR. When the DCAS9 VPR binds to the single guide RNA that targets an endogenous gene, it would overexpress the endogenous gene, resulting in lethality in wild-type flies. So how exactly do we engineer species? First, we utilize the CRISPR gene editing tool to create an indel mutation in the promoter region of the target gene. To do this, we let a fly that expresses Cas9 mate with a fly that expresses single guide RNA. Then, their progeny will carry both Cas9 and single guide RNA. Now, Cas9 and single guide RNA can act together and create a double-stranded DNA break at the promoter region of the endogenous gene. Since the single guide RNA targeting the site has mutations, the single guide RNA can no longer bind to it. Therefore, it is protected. Now that we have a fly that has a protected single guide RNA targeting site, when we made it to a fly that expresses DCAS9 VPR, we would get progeny that carries single guide RNA, Cas9, and DCAS9 VPR. Since the single guide RNA binding site is mutated, neither DCAS9 nor single guide RNA can bind. Therefore, the expression of the endogenous gene will not be altered, thus the fly will survive. In total, we engineered eight species that were 100% reproductively isolated with the wild type and each other. In order to demonstrate speciation, we performed bidirectional outcrosses of all eight species to the wild type and to themselves. We first let the flies mate in the fly chamber for 12 hours, then score the embryo after 24 hours, and then score the larvae after 48 hours. Afterward, we keep recording the changes of the embryos or larvae consecutively for five days. As the graph is shown, when the species are outcrossed to each other, viable progenies are produced. When the species are outcrossed to wild type, none of the progeny are able to survive past the first instar. Species have varied applications such as the blocking of gene flow from engineered agricultural plants to wild varieties, altering the habitat of other organisms, and use as vector and pest control. In some cases, these engineered species were also capable of replacing the wild type population due to their gene drive abilities. To conclude, species is a simple technology for engineering organisms. It is highly portable and has potential gene drive applications. It is also a considerable achievement in the field of population engineering.